everyone, welcome to my channel, Nars Vlogs. After watching this video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below. And please don't forget to click the icon bell so that you will be updated with my upcoming videos. For today's video, I'll be teaching you how to find the greatest common factor of two numbers. I'll be giving you some examples to understand it better. Let's say we're going to look for the GCF of 12 and 20. So first, I'll be using prime factorization. So let's have 12 and we'll look for its prime factors. We know that 12 is an even number, so we can divide it by 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. And we can still look for the prime factors of 6, which is 2 and 3. And for 20, we know that it's also an even number, so we can divide it by 2. And another is 10, because 20 divided by 2 is 10. Still look for prime factors of 10, which is 2 and 5. Then you have to list down there the common factors of 12 and 20. So for 12, we have 2 times 2 times 3. And for 20, we have 2 times 2 times 5. So if you try to notice here, these are the common factors of 12 and 20. So that means GCF of 12 and 20 is 4. So 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 2 is 4. In other words, 12 is just the same as 4 times 3, and 20 is just the same as 4 times 5. So that is why their common factor is 4. Another example is what if we're looking for the GCF of 36 and 48. So this time, I'll be using a ladder method. So in ladder method, we can just make use of division because we will just divide it to a common number. So we will list down 36 and 48 here. When we divide it, we will start with dividing it by the two first prime numbers. So 36 and 48 are both even numbers. So we can divide it by two. 36 divided by 2, that will give you 18. 48 divided by 2, that will give you 24. If you try to notice, we can still divide 18 and 24. So divide it again by 2. 18 divided by 2 is 9. 24 divided by 2 is 12. And still, we can divide 9 and 12 to a common number, so we will not stop. This time, we cannot divide 9 and 12 by 2, so we will move on to another number, which is 3. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Since you cannot already simplify 3 and 4, then you have to stop there. And what will you do is just multiply the numbers on the left side so that we will get the GCF. So what's the number here? is 12, 2, and another number which is 3. So 2 times 2 is 4, times 3 is 12. So you just simply multiply the numbers that you use to divide these numbers here. So that means the GCF of 36 and 48 is 12. Next example is what if we are looking for the greatest common factor of 56 and 72 so again I'll be using ladder method so you will just write 56 and 72 here then you will use division so we all know that there are even numbers so we'll try to divide them by 2 56 divided by 2 that will give you 28 72 divided by 2 is 36 and still you can simplify 28 and 36 so both even numbers you can still divide it by 2 again 28 divided by 2 is 14 36 divided by 2 is 18 and then you can still simplify both 14 and 18 by 2 again 14 divided by 2 is 7 
18 divided by 2 is 9. So there, we cannot already divide 7 and 9 to a common number. So we will have to stop there and multiply the numbers on the left side. So 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 that will give you 8. So that means the greatest common factor of 56 and 72 is 8. So if you try to check 56 factors of that is 8 times 7 for 72 factors is 8 times 9 so their common factor there is 8 and last example what if we are looking for the greatest common factor of 64 and 100 so I'll be using letter method again you write 64 and 100 there then you will divide it to a common number so first by 2 because they are both even numbers 64 divided by 2 is 32 100 divided by 2 is 50 still even numbers so we can divide it by 2 again 32 divided by 2 is 16 50 divided by 2 is 25 and try to check if you can still simplify 16 and 25 so since we cannot simplify anymore 16 and 25 then we have to stop right there so just multiply the numbers here on the left side 2 times 2 is 4 so that means the greatest common factor of 64 and 100 is 4 and you can check for 64, the factors are 4 times 16. For 100, the factors are 4 times 25 or 4 and 25. So their common factor there is 4. So that's it guys. I do hope you learned something from this math tutorial. I do hope that you will continue to support my channel by subscribing to my, to my channel. And I'll see you again next time.